Hello and welcome to yet another Rap Worldly Experience, my fellow Ragers. In the previous video, we learned about how to use a query, SQL query, and how to execute it with a execute non-query, synchronous method. Today, we will be learning how to do it with an asynchronous method. Let's get straight into it. So, in this, we will learn how to fetch if a player data in the database is stored or not if it is not then we will just print that the player is not player does not exist if it is there then we will write we will say that the player exists I'm not sure if i said that right but anyways first thing first for a synchronous method this is the package that we need using system the data no nope, threading the tasks now we will make a function now for any function to be asynchronous the keyword async and task needs to be there so public async task and in the angular bracket we will write what data type we need from it so since we will be checking if the account exists or not and we only need true and false so we will just use bool or boolean and we will write the identifier of the function as account exists there we go now in the core we will over here we need that as well using system dot threading dot tasks there we go now we will make a server event on player connection so server event event dot player connected and a public callback public async void on player connected client player we are using a sync in this callback as well because since we will be using an await keyword we need a sync for that so now back to our data over here what we're going to do is first we will write the sql query so string query is equals to let's see select count star as account number uh, from the table name which is accounts where player name is equals to we will give a placeholder player name and limit being one now let me just check the column name player name and player name yep it's correct anyway now this is a placeholder the query is complete now what we will do is we will make an, uh, an object of mysql command so mysql command command is equals to new mysql command we will give this the query comma the connection the connection is in mysql dot mysql dot con now obviously i forgot to give using which is necessary there we go now we have made the object command from mysql command now we will exchange this placeholder with what we actually need so command dot parameters dot add with value in the first parameter the placeholder name should be there so in this case it's player name and in the second parameter what we need is what value we're going to change it with so it will be this the player data dot name if you don't know what player data is it's basically this object which contains the client object if you don't know how we got over here then you have obviously not seen my previous video please go and check it out now that we have completely created the SQL query perfectly we are going to make um, execute command so uh, a reader first of all so 
var reader is equals to await um what was it new execute no nope. reader await var reader equals to await command dot execute reader async there we go now we have made this we have actually executed this using an await function which is an asynchronous way of doing it over here we made the command we executed the command now we will fetch the data so if await reader dot uh, read async there we go read async and since we are only going to get one value because the limit is one that is why we're using an if if it, if it was more than one then we would have used while but right now only if works perfectly fine so now if await reader dot uh, read async that's done we will use another if and do reader the name of the field in this case the name of the field is accno account number so accno i have to convert this forgot about it convert dot int 32 oops is equals to equals to one so if we do get a result back if we do get one column at least one tuple back from this then we will just return true however if everything works everything works and we still did not hit return true what we will do is just return false that means we did not get any result that means the account does not exist now let me check did i do yep that's done now this is how the function is made using a sync method now to actually use it on player connected async that is done what we will do is first of all we are going to get the data client sorry the data object from this so data um let's just call this temp is equals to player the get oops wrong spelling player the get data the name of the key in this case the name of the key is what was the name of the key player dot data dot data identifier there we go we don't need player so this is the key this is where the key is stored let me show it to you in the player folder class data data identifier we have the key string stored as a read only that does that one now coming back over here we've stored that class uh, that object in the object temp temp now we will use that so if temp dot account exists forgot to use an await function now if this does exist we will just send the player a message for now just for now we will send it that account exists if it does not we will just do player dot send chat message account does not exist there we go that is all you need for a synchronous way of fetching data now let me just run the server three two one go any day build successful there we go now let me just check my local host test database in my test database account table we have nothing so if i try to connect with any account as any account i should get account does not exist so let me just pause this video and i'll show you too when my game has loaded okay we are almost in game well almost multiplayer started 
And if I'm not wrong, it should show account does not exist. There you go. Now, if I let me just exit. If I add the account Ronnie in my local database and then again try to connect to the server, it should say that the account does exist. So let me first just add it real quick. Insert. And in the player name, I'll just add my character name. Everything has a default value, so I don't need to give anything. Go. Now you can see that in my table, I have one tuple, which is Ronnie and the rest, I don't really care about that. And now I'll try and connect again. Okay, so we are almost back in game again. And it should say now that the account exists. And there you go. It does say that. And see, a certain of your account exists. So this is how you check if a player exists in your database or not. And depending on that, you can show a login page or a registration page. Now, I need to give a reason why we used a synchronous method. The reason being is that if you don't use a sync method, then the thread, the main thread, where the processes happen, it could get frozen. It could freeze the server while it is trying to retrieve data. So it is always best practice to use a synchronous function to avoid that. And if you learned anything today from this video, then please do hit the like button and subscribe for more YouTube um, Rage MP C Sharp tutorials. And if you have any doubt, then please do comment down below. Thank you for watching and peace.